First tonight at 6 o'clock, decision 2010 and the race for the 3rd Congressional District. It is contentious, and we saw some of that play out in our studios today. 24-hour News 8 political reporter Rick Albin sat both of the candidates down face-to-face. -face. Rick's with us now to show us how it went. Well, less than four weeks before the election, we told you last week about the dust-up between Republican Justin Amash and Democrat Patrick Miles. Over Miles claims that Amash owns part of a manufacturing company in China. Amash says it's not true. They don't manufacture anything. Today, when they both sat down for this week's To the Point, it was clear the issue had not been settled between these two. So the products that are distributed by Michigan Industrial Tools do not have made in China on them? They're not manufactured in we China? We trade with companies that manufacture in China, but our business is not manufactured in China. Are you going to say the same thing about Meyer Corporation? Your, you, your business will you say itself? The same, will you your make the same criticism of Meyer Corporation? Your business itself said, describe will itself. Will you make the your same business, criticism Dynamic Source International, describe itself as saying, we have factory facilities. We've been producing garden tools, hardware tools for 20 years. We turn them out 10 million units a year. That is not our it website. Describes this ten, was that information provided by the company? No, absolutely not. And this is why the false this is places, the Dynamic Source International is describing itself this way. That is not our website, and that How is many not a statement from do you, the company. Do you employ in China? We have a company that How employs employees? 25 people in China. You have 25 employees in China. Yes. And so you do have. We do not products, have a manufacturing facility in China. And products are manufactured in China. There are many companies in West Michigan, hundreds of businesses that trade with China. And is he is Pat Miles going to throw them all into the bus? These these businesses provide good paying jobs to people in this district, places like Meyer Corporation. And you're going to say those businesses shouldn't be around here. You're, the products you're importing are almost exclusively from China. You're distracting are from any the story. Are any made in the United States? Absolutely. The race for the third congressional district, that's Kent Berry and Ionia County, is getting interesting. As you saw, it will be the focus of our show on Sunday morning when the candidates will talk about some substantive issues beyond China, but they also continue that conversation, which went on for a while. And you'll see it all on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock for this week's To the Point.